thing to do on our map is to identify what geological structures we can see. So do we have any unconformities, faults, folds, etc.? Now, an unconformity is when we've got an erosional surface, usually, of some rocks underneath that have been then deposited by a different sequence of rock on top. So the way that we identify this is by finding certain units that are truncated or cross-cut each other. So the really obvious part in our map where we've got a truncation is this little island of G, which you can see is cutting across everything else. So this here is a first part of our unconformity, so I'm just going to highlight that in yellow. Now, because I've got, I know now that unit G is above the unconformity, and I can look elsewhere on the map where I've got G. So I've also got G over here, so I also know that this boundary here must also be an unconformity. Now this is a bit tricky because it is, it's not that obviously cross-cutting the units here. But because I know that I've got this G sitting in the middle of my map, I know that elsewhere on the map it's also an unconformity. And if we look for this pattern, so these dots, we can also see that we've got more dots down here, so that is also G. So we've also got an unconformity. And if you look carefully, you can see that that bit of the unconformity is truncating that unit, and this carries on around here. So we've now identified our unconformity. And if we look at the Vs, as I just showed you, you can see that these are all dipping again down to the east. So the unconformity is...